himself in between your legs, likes to lock up on you, and tries to push into you. So we're just simply teaching him, he's not gonna come in here bullying me like this. What he's trying to do is bully me. If I touch him, he tries to bite, right? If I allow him to get near me, he tries to push himself into me and actually tries to force into me. I like the closeness. This is, this is a nice behavior but I'm not gonna put up with the trying to get in between my legs every time we go walking or trying to push into me, right? Like this, that's not acceptable. So when he pushes into me, I'm simply gonna push him back away. Yes. Put him back into the heel, make sure he doesn't go between the legs and reward him. He's gotta get used to being touched. He doesn't like being touched around the neck with that collar. So we gotta get him used to being touched there and letting him feel comfortable with it. Yes. Good. Dealing with dogs like this, left spins. Heels on the left, so we're gonna be doing a lot of spins to the left teaching him he's not going to push against us. We're going to use our body language to work against him and work with him. All holding my left hand out to the side because I'm wearing the bite gloves. He does not feel comfortable with my hand being out there unless I'm touching him. So we want him to feel comfortable with whatever I choose. Nope. Good. I want him to feel comfortable with my hand being right beside him without trying to bite. 